Hey, you don't have to drink to have fun. I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right. See, I used to think that to have fun when I'm going out meeting new people, I had to drink. When we're going out to like the pub or like parties and stuff, I always felt like I had to drink just to be able to get along with people, with new people I haven't met. Even to the point where in England, we have this really like shitty sort of like drinking culture where basically pre-drinks, you want to ensure that you are drunk by the time you meet anyone new, you would drink before the party even started. So I would literally, before I went to a party, I would buy myself a bottle of sours for myself and I'd drink the whole thing to myself. And then I would go to the party and drink even more. I always ended up sick. So I am talking from experience that from that person who has been in that situation, who used to drink a lot and it's not fun. I used to think that it was, but after looking back and really thinking about it, I realized that it wasn't. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you a story which happened like a year ago. I was meeting up with an old friend which I haven't met in a quite a while and we were just revising, right? He was revising for, uh, what is it, his A-levels. I had left college so I was basically just working on YouTube. This is at the time I only had like 200 subscribers, right? I was telling him about the progress I've made on self-improvement. And then unexpectedly, a few other friends, which I hadn't seen in a while, popped by. And they popped in and they said, hey, and they sat with us. And they ordered a couple drinks. Obviously, I didn't. And then my friend didn't either because he was studying. But when they, when the other people who just joined us left for the bathroom, my friend turned to me and said, I need a drink. I was like, why? He was like, I, I, I can't talk to you. I can't. I can't talk unless I have alcohol. And I just looked back and I looked at him and I thought, what, what do you mean? And he looked at me and was like, well, this is awkward. No, no, don't you feel awkward? Don't you, don't you want to get a drink to, you know, so you can have the confidence to talk to people? And I looked at him and I was like, nah, man, what the fuck? No, do, do you need a drink when you go and order like a drink? He's like, no, I just order off the app. I don't go up. I'm like, dude, whoa, this is a problem. If you're watching this, Obviously, I know you're, you're not like that anymore, so, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just thinking back to, like, at this current moment in time. It's just part of the story. And I kind of thought about this now, that he wasn't the only one. Everyone was like this, including myself, for a long time. The idea that I had to drink to have fun. Now, I want to go through two scenarios, and which one do you actually want to be a part of? You know, my kind of fun which a lot of people shamed me for. And this is, I'm not even like joking, like I'm being genuinely serious. I mentioned that this was my kind of fun to them. And like, was it like, even like some of my exes were like, wow, you're weird. My kind of fun is going out on a big long ass road trip with the boys, right? Going out on a trip with the boys. We are literally planning this as like, as I'm saying this, like this is something we've planned that when, when he gets a car or someone gets a car since I ride a bike, we're gonna drive, I'll ride. We're gonna drive to just a random place in the woods. We're gonna bring all a bunch of camping equipment. We're gonna lock our phones and all the technology in the car. And we're just gonna go to the woods, build a, build a campfire, build a, build a den so we can actually sleep and just have s'mores and just literally chill there. And we're gonna do this during the summer. We've literally planned this, right? That is my kind of fun. You know, another t another time, which was it, a bunch of uh, my uh, people that I know, friends from the skate park, literally went to Barcelona, right? Just to go and skate in the streets, going down to like coffee shops and stuff, not drinking, literally just exploring, enjoying their time in the sun, just enjoying each other's company. That's my kind of fun. And the fact that I mentioned this and there were people, not a lot, but there were people who looked at me and went, that's weird. Why don't you drink? Why don't you vape? Why don't you smoke? That's that's weird. You should allow yourself to have fun. I am having fun. You don't need to drink to have fun. And that, you got that kind of fun versus the average, the average degenerate kind of fun. The going out, the parties, the drinking, the pre-drinking, the junk food, the video games, the drugs, the absolute no care in your physical or mental well-being. You've got that kind of fun. Now, for me personally, I want to be part of the first type, the first group, where I'm going out camping with friends. That's my kind of fun. 
And if there are people here who are going to say that that's weird that I don't drink, that I don't vape, that I don't do anything of that sort, fine. That's fair enough. Everyone's got their own different perceptions of things. But I know for a fact that I'm having a better life and that I'm actually having good fun. Because every time I was in that situation of that degenerate average fun, party life, right? I know for a fact that after, the day after, literally the day after, hours after I'd gone up, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good. That I regret a lot of the time I wasted then. But it's fine because we, we, we made it to where we are now and I'm happy. I just wanted to let you know that you don't need to drink to have fun. If you're being peer pressured, and it's a very common thing, people say that they don't peer pressure, but it's very easy to peer pressure people into just drinking. You know, when it's it's normal to peer pressure friends into drinking. How fucked is that? Oh, you're not drinking? Come on, just one, just one drink. It's a celebration, it's just one drink. One drink turns into many, many more. If you don't want to drink and your friends are peer pressuring you into joining them, into that degenerate kind of fun, you don't have to. And to be honest, if they're friends who aren't appreciating your time or your thoughts, that they're probably not that good friends. Which is kind of common nowadays, because it's, it's hard to come by good friends nowadays. I rambled on a little bit, so uh, I apologize. <laughs> I hope you've been good. I hope things have been alright. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never ever find this channel again. But if you do after this, or you're already subscribed, another video will pop up in the corner, and if you like this video, you should 100% click on this, because this could definitely change your life. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Ooh, you know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.